Venlo is a town in the south of the Netherlands at the German border. Although in Limburg, a province with a lower modal share for cycling, Venlo itself has a high modal share of 25%. The excellent cycling infrastructure has now been expanded with a long distance high speed cycle route from the railway station of Venlo to the railway station of Horst Zevenum. The route got the name Greenport Bikeway. It runs parallel to the railway and is 11.5 kilometers or 7.2 miles long. The route starts opposite the station and its outdoor bicycle parking facility. It is easy to find the start of the route because there is a very clear sign. The route through the town is on existing cycling infrastructure. The route crosses the river Maas or Meuse on an existing older bridge right next to the railway tracks. Once the river is crossed, the real new route starts. There are parts that barely meet the standards, but that is only on very short stretches. Where possible, the route is brand new, white and the surface consists of smooth red asphalt. At some point, the route moves to the other side of the railroad with a level railroad crossing. The stenciled name on the surface is a simple means of telling people where to go. But that doesn't really seem to be a lasting solution. Better signage would be good here, although it is also very clear that you have to follow the railway as close as possible. At this time the route is very well used by children going to school and by people who cycle for recreation. Not all of the route is dedicated cycling infrastructure. Sometimes it is a Fietstraat, a cycle street, where cars are guessed. At one point, where the guest has to leave the route, an exit construction makes that clear. The route then continues as a dedicated cycleway, with another level railroad crossing of a not so often used factory railroad track. Here, the route runs parallel to a major truck route. Many transport companies have a seat in Venlo, where goods for Germany and further away are distributed. It is good to cycle away from all those trucks, and even on my rental bike I can make a good speed. We've soon seen the most of all those trucks, and the route is then again away from motor traffic and runs through the fields. There's also a lot of farmland here, and that is much nicer to cycle alongside of. At the halfway point, the route runs through some woods. But they end quickly, and then we see the fields again. The entire length of the route is well lit at night, one of the requirements to be able to call it a fast cycle route. Not only trucks are on their way to Germany, also many trains full of goods. Where the route meets major roads, the crossings are all grade separated. These underpasses are wide and light, because they are combined with the railroad. This part of North Limburg is as flat as the rest of the Netherlands. The hilly part of Limburg is much further to the south. At some point near the end, the route suddenly bends away from the railway. The fact that the surface is now black gives away that this is a part that is not the optimal route. To get back to the railway, the route connects to an existing much narrower path with concrete tiles. Immediately we get a demonstration of the negative aspects of a path that is too narrow. It is not so easy to pass people who cycle slower and who also don't seem to hear so well. Fortunately, this is only a short detour. We quickly get back to the railroad route that is again very wide and has smooth red asphalt. Close to the end, the route becomes a cycle street again. This time that is indicated differently. The transition to the dedicated cycle route is also very different. Less good and less attractive, I would say.
That brings us to the end of this fast cycle route at the Horst Zevenum station, where you could take the train or where you can simply continue your journey on existing standard cycling infrastructure.